Hey guys, this is Azerlin with a quick review of Maze. Maze is a first-person adventure game about sentient corn and the scientists who developed them. The game starts off with you being dragged around by corn and then waking up in the cornfield without any idea of what just happened. I was very curious about this sentient corn and how it came to be. As you venture into the research facility, the story focuses more on the scientists' overly dramatic relationship with each other rather than the how or the why of the whole situation. So expect to read a lot of dialogue on post-it notes from these two. By the end, I found myself left wanting more details about the sentient corn, and I think they could have done a lot more with the story. The gameplay is mostly what you would expect from a first-person adventure game, but with a lot more of a walking simulator feel to it. You'll need to walk around and explore and find objects to complete tasks to unlock other areas and progress. There's not much difficulty in completing these objectives, since you can see the shape of the object that you need to find, and the objects also have hints on them about what their use might be. After a little progression, you get a sidekick named Vladdy. He is a sentient teddy bear that you'll need to do some tasks for you. I absolutely loathe Vladdy. He is extremely annoying and constantly insulting you and everything around you with the same lame phrases like stupid, idiot, and trash over and over again. I know that it's intended that he's got such a negative personality, but holy crap, he's such a dick and I just wanted him to shut up and go away. In contrast to Vladdy, the different corn characters were amusing and entertaining at times, so I liked them and I would have liked to have seen more of them. The graphics looked good for the most part, and there were more environments than I had expected. Some of these environments seemed out of place, but I suppose that fits with the whole nonsensical theme of the game. There were a couple areas that I really didn't like. The obnoxious light bloom and flickering of the lights all over the walls was really hard on the eyes. More settings to adjust the graphical effects would be nice, but at least there wasn't this problem in most of the other areas. Performance-wise, I was able to maintain 60 frames on epic settings, with some occasional drops. I managed to make it right up to just before the end, when it gave me a fatal error and crashed to desktop. The key bindings are not customizable, and right now there is only partial controller support. The music was fine throughout the game, and the voice acting is good for all of the characters. The sound effects were mostly good, except for that mechanical sound when Vladdy walks, which was a bit irritating. The game took me about three to three and a half hours to finish, and that was with me finding and reading almost all of the collectibles. There are quite a few collectibles to find, and some of the flavor text was amusing, but I wouldn't want to replay the game. Maze has a ridiculously silly concept, and it's definitely a game that doesn't take itself seriously. The sheer goofiness of it all made me smile at times, but the constant overuse of the same insults gets very annoying. I also found the game to be lacking in content for the price, and I would have liked to have had more depth to the story. Overall, it was an alright experience. It's not a great game, but it's not a bad one either. I hope this review has helped you. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and post your feedback in the comments below. Thanks everyone, and have a wonderful day!